Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Just a uh, standard quick 10 card, 10 baseball card recap mail day here. So I just wanted to show you and I'll start with a little vintage for my, uh, for my vintage fans. Uh, this beautiful 1960 Frank Howard rookie star card. Frank Howard was the uh, rookie of the year in 1960. You know when you're pulling packs back in the day this would have been the card you wanted to, to pull. You know, obviously now we know the Ustremski is probably the most desirable one, uh, at least rookie from the 60 set, followed by the Willie McCovey. And then uh, Frank Howard used to be number three, but he's been uh, passed up by Jim Catt, who just recently was inducted to the Hall of Fame or, or named to the Hall of Fame. So Frank Howard's a distant fourth now. And I finally picked this card up. And it really, like when I started collecting, I've been looking to get it for the last 10 years, in all honesty. And back then it was going for about 40 bucks and an Airman 7. I paid right around 60 bucks for it, so it hasn't blown up in price at all. Although I will note that uh, the auction, uh, two days later, a probe auction with another seven of this card went for over 100 bucks, just like 102. Uh, and this one actually has better centering than that one. A little bit of snowing on it, uh, if you will, on that side, which isn't so uncommon for those 60 rookie stars, but a uh, great ball player who had a great career, particularly in the, uh, the late 60s with the Washington Senators uh, for the 60 collection. Uh, another guy, great hitter, man. I mean, as far as my generation, one of the best hitters I ever saw was Alex Rodriguez. The fact that he played for my Seattle Mariners and, and began his career there is a uh, is a huge bonus for me. And secondary, the fact that uh, there, I'm, I mean, I see the demand increasing for his cards, like a lot of cards, but uh, it's still not like I'm buying these for six, seven, you know, eight dollars in a pinch, maybe at most. But uh, very affordable cards for the uh, for the caliber of player that he was. Uh, PEDs aside, right? I know some of you may be like, "Nope, never ever will I collect a rod." And and I get that. I respect that. I, I'm not I'm not criticizing anyone. But for me, as a Mariners fan, simply one of the best ball players I ever saw play. Uh, a really cool, totally certified platinum red. That's numbered to three thousand ninety nine. Uh, no coding on that, but I think I might have paid around six bucks for it. I paid six bucks for this upper echelon 98 upper deck. Another rare one I was able to pick up this uh, Don Ross Elite Aspirations, uh, one of 750 of those. Then we're on to uh, a little Derek Jeter action. Uh, anytime I can pick up a cheap Jeter, uh, I think I paid around seven to six fifty for this. Uh, Topps Chrome, a Rawlings Gold Glove Award winner. Of course, that 2007 Tops is pretty famous, uh, not for this card, but for the other card that shows uh, Mantle and uh, then President George Bush in the crowd. Uh, here we go, uh, a GMA card. Uh, once again, I know not a lot of you are fans of GMA, but uh, for six bucks with free shipping, I was able to pick up this A-Rod. Uh, just an interesting piece, early years sports flicks. Uh, here's a card with a backstory. Uh, 2011, my first year back in the hobby. I'm traveling with my wife, and we stop in um, Sioux Falls, South Dakota. And there's a, uh, they got two decent card shops there. But this one was called, I think it was Triple Play Sports Cards. I went in there, and uh, great folks. Bought some stuff from them. Uh, had a great time talking with the uh, some of the folks behind the counter. They got me to sign up for their membership uh, with them giving them my email. And they said as a reward, I could choose, uh, I had a couple choices. I could choose a prize. And I chose the uh, the complete 2011 Prime 9 set. Uh, I suppose throughout the year earlier, you could go in there if you bought something, they would give you uh, a card once a week. Uh, but they had the sets all built. There's nine players in the set, all Hall of Famers, all beautiful cards, all refractor finish. And uh, let me just go ahead and show this to you up close. Just a beautiful, beautiful card. Uh, there were two of these for sale on an auction, and I won this one for around six bucks. And once again, man, the CSG slab. I really love how it feels, and I'm by no means am I a spokesman for them. No means am I saying, "Hey, go out and submit all your cards to CSG." No, that's not what I'm doing. I'm just saying it's a it's a it can be a value buy, right? If, if PSA cards are getting too pricey for you, too expensive, uh, CSG has been a really good alternative for me to find cards that uh, that are just kind of you know they're under the radar, if you will. And uh, I'm really excited to get this. Uh, really excited to and and. CSG case just feels great. Uh, one other thing I did, uh, I did go buy a vintage card, my first vintage CSG graded card, because I wanted to see how they do. And uh, I think this beautiful Dennis Eckersley, when I say beautiful, I mean it's got some defects, right? But still, just, you know, they're not printing any more of these 1976 Dennis Eckersley rookies. 
You know, I, I bought this one for about 22 bucks. I can't even get a blaster at Walmart for $22 right now. So it was a no-brainer, man. I'm going out and buying, spending my hard-earned money on something beautiful like this, a piece of history, one of the most over uh, underrated pitchers of all time. You know, he almost had 200 wins before he became just one of the best closers to ever play the game. And uh, just, he could deal, man. Dennis Eckersley could deal. And uh, so I picked up my second Eck rookie and uh, just tried it out in the CSG case. This one, yeah, it's fairly graded. I, I bet if it was in a PSA holder, it'd probably be a six, probably because that print defect and the centering's a little off, but pretty clean other ways uh, all, in all the other areas. But uh, that's kind of what I was looking at. Hey, I got some more stuff coming in, um, so just heads up for that. I'll do a basketball video coming up next. And then I'm going to do a special video as I start wrapping up uh, my collection and preparing it to move. And I've done one of these videos five years ago, you know, being in the military, you, you move a lot. And now that I'm retired, I am moving for work again. So it's time to start packing things up. But I'll, I might do some recap videos and show a few things off as I get those prepared. But so I uh, look forward to that. Once again, everybody, I appreciate your post, your comments, and I'll talk to you again soon.